This message is for Tracy. This is Jay from Londonderry Dodge showing you the video of the 2013 Dodge Citadel. If you notice, um, this one is the silver in color. With the, the, the Citadel, you get the nice chrome accenting. This particular unit has the fog lights, and then there's an eye in the middle of the lower grill. It's for the adaptive cruise control. That's a feature that slows down the vehicle when you're in cruise if somebody brakes heavily in front of you. So it's a safety mechanism that uh, pre prevents uh, accidents and injury on the highway. Um, underneath the hood, you'll have the 5.7 liter Hemi uh, pushing out 290 horse or 385 horsepower with about 360 pounds of torque. Going, it has the Lexon headlights. These things are very durable plastic that um, helps per reduce pitting and chipping, so you're not replacing the headlights. Also, it's got the LED headlights, so you get um, brighter and further seeing distance um, and more clarity. Going to the side of the vehicle, you have the 20 inch chrome cladded mono welded alloyed wheels. Mono welded meaning there's no seam, there's more stability and uh, durability with those rims. You got the all season tires on there. There's underneath, they uh, line the wheel wells with this velvet material. Just helps reduce the road noise and um, helps reduce the amount of rusting from rocks chipping the paint on, on the underbelly of the vehicle. This is the side profile of the vehicle. And then the nice chrome um, accenting with the door handles and the side mirrors. The side mirrors are heated and you also have um, lane change assist which lets you know that there's a vehicle in your blind spot when making lane changes. On the door is a feature called entry assist. Basically to lock the vehicle you do not need to press the fob, you just press the button as long as you have the fob close to you um, and then the door should lock. But for some reason it's not. There we go. And then to open it, all you have to do is just open the door handle. So no need to use the fob at all for entry. On the fob you have power entry, power tailgate, and command start. So that you can start the vehicle from the comforts of your, of your home. Going towards the back of the vehicle, you'll notice that it has a backup camera, which is that eye right there. Uh, so you can see objects when backing up. And then it's got these little round sensors on the bumper, as you can see there. That is park assist, just gives you an auditory sound when approaching an object uh, when reversing. And then I'll use the fob here for the power tailgate. As you as you can see, if you hit something, it goes back down. I guess I don't have enough room, so I'll prevent from doing that. And then going to the back of the vehicle. This one does have the bucket seats in the back. So it's actually a six-seater, not the seven-seater. With the 2013s, they've changed up the upholstery to give it the French stitching, the nice white accenting on the leather premium seats. The back seats are heated, um, but the third row are not. And then all these seats can fold down so that you can open this whole back area up in terms of cargo space. It's got rear heating so that the back um, passengers can control the heat to their liking. And then the nice part of the vehicle is the front. You've got power adjustable seat with lumbar support obviously power windows and locks you got automatic headlights and then on the steering wheel you have cruise control mounted steering wheel on your right hand side here and then bluetooth capability and your vehicle information center on the left on the back of the steering wheel are auditory toggles that increase your volume and you can change your station as well and then it is a chip key, so it has um, a remote system, and it also has um, a security system with uh, an anti-theft deterrent. So that's the vehicle kind of lit up. 
In the middle is your vehicle information center that gives you vital information such as current fuel economy, your trip computer, your vehicle speed, scrolling down, your tire pressure, so you know the tire pressure on each tire, and also any vital information that may come from the engine requiring you to, to get the vehicle serviced. It's uh, intelligent all-wheel drive, so it's uh, always active and knows when to engage into four-wheel and not. And then it has the um, Ford 30 or the 730 Media Center with navigation. And that is all voice activated if you choose it to be. And then you do get AM, FM, Sirius Satellite Radio. You have CD player and DVD player that load into there and you can actually watch movies while you're in park and then you also have dual climate control with heated seats and ventilated seats and then each person can set the temperature to their liking so it's got three-way climate control in the vehicle and then you also have traction control you have heated steering wheel you have a 115 volt DC outlet so you can plug in a laptop in the back that's to turn on your park assist to get the auditory so talk, um, sound while you're backing up. And this is for um, lowering the back seats. I also have auto dimming mirror, universal garage door opener, and then sunroof as well. So that's kind of a rundown of the vehicle. If you have any further questions, please call me or email me. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Thanks and have a good day.